staying flexible. What does that mean? It means you go to order your favorite bagel and they're all out. So instead of getting upset, you easily accept it, register it, and select your next favorite item without a lot of heartache. Flexible. An office meeting or a conference call was scheduled at a time that you had to do something. Well, prioritize and then remember that it's okay for things to not go as scheduled. Accept, let go, and make the decision to prioritize and just let go of the idea that you had everything figured out for that day. You have an issue with your key fob battery in your car. I had it. And I had to sleep all night knowing that I had to get it replaced. But I remembered that I live a minimalistic life. And being that I don't have a lot to take care of, when something goes wrong, I accept that life will not always be perfect. Flexibility is having the capacity to deal with the imperfect, the inconvenient, and the aggravating. It doesn't make it easier, but we learn that it's a tremendous attribute. It's a beautiful quality. When someone sees that you have the ability to have something thrown at you, you accept it and you pivot from it and you're able to work past it. You're able to not be bitter, spiteful, or upset, but you're gracious, maneuverable, and you take it with ease. It's a great quality. People will find it attractive. And so, like I say, whether it's through minimalism, whether it's just through a mindset of accepting the imperfect. I built my whole life in these latter years, these past few years, on the major principle of living a simple life so that I could be flexible because I've already accepted that life will not always be perfect. It doesn't mean that there can't be some major thing that totally breaks me because any of us can be broken at any time. But what it has done, living a more simple life, it's given me the flexibility. But what I've learned in living the minimalistic life is many people have flexibility, but they don't use it. You know, it's like when something comes up, whether it's something like their favorite uh, food is no longer in stock at Starbucks, they're out of this bagel, whether it means that uh, they have to take a different route because there's a detour, whether they got to get something fixed on their car, instead of them trying to ram it in the way it always was, they accept that it's not going to be like that today, but that's why I've simplified my life so I have the capacity to take a detour. I have the capacity to deal with the inconvenient. And when you have structured your life and structured your mind, because even when you've structured your life to live a simple life, you have to structure your mind to accept the imperfect and to pivot around it and to progress forward. That's what it means to have a flexible mind. You know, making this video in the nighttime, it was, I've learned to capture a moment of inspiration and be flexible. Like usually I have my videos structured in a certain way and I do them in a certain time of day. Uh, But I always try to capture inspiration and and I was like, well, I usually don't make a video at this time and I won't upload it till tomorrow, but be flexible in a moment of inspiration. Be, be flexible. Now keep structure, keep structure because structure guides you. But when there is an issue, there always be an issue, have enough capacity to move around the issue without breaking, bend, but don't break again. Any of us can be broken. So we have to stay humble. But Bruce Lee had that quote that, I don't know if it was the bamboo tree, uh, but he said there's a certain type of tree, maybe the bamboo tree, that it withers in the wind, but because it's so flexible, it doesn't break. And that's how you should be. When their issues of life arise, you know, bend around them, and there's nothing wrong with being, you know, and then see the bigger picture. And I do recommend simplify your life, live a minimalistic life, because the simpler you live, the more capacity you have to deal with the inconvenient and the greater your peace, the greater your joy and the greater your bank account. So that's the message in this video, the value of flexibility and the willingness to use it, the willingness to accept the uncomfortable. Because even as a nomad traveler, 
when a hurricane comes, I have the flexibility to move, but I've learned that many nomads don't because they're rigid in their mindset of being around a certain area. Um, or whether it means traveling and leaving family. I mean, sometimes the flexible mind accepts that, you know, you're willing to deal with change. And change is not easy for the humans because we are creatures of habit. And there's a lot to be said for keeping certain healthy habits and using them as a guideline to your daily routine in your life. But you also have to remember life is not an exact science. And that's why we keep that flexibility, keep that simple minimalistic life so that when the things don't line up as planned, we're able to accept, deal, and navigate around them. And that's a great quality. It's a great way to be. It'll make your life more enjoyable and less suffering, you know, because that's how you live your best life. There's no perfect life, but you live your best life through intentionally living and building a life that is more flexible and creating certain ways of being so that there's less self-induced suffering and therefore greater joy. You're not always going to be happy, but more happiness is a better life. And uh, that's all I want to share in this video. Hopefully it helps. Thank you to all those who watch. Thank you to my members who support the channel. If you'd like to be a member, click that blue join button. You'll get unlimited access to all my live feeds I do every day. I appreciate you. Click the thumbs up too on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.